Welcome back everybody to the 2018 Costa Mesa Pokemon Video Game Regional Championships. My name is Duiha and joining me at the desk right now is Kimo Nishimura, Len Duel, and of course Regina Ang Lee. We are wrapping up right now. We've finished two days of intense Pokemon play. Oh. We've crowned a brand new Costa Mesa Regional Champion. And well, that's it from us. <laughs> yeah. We got to see Brendan get his prizes on stream. That was mm -hmm. pretty cool. And yeah. super fun. DS's, a bunch of cards. Got his world's invite, too. Oh, yeah. That world's invite's Black. the best prize. Yeah. All right. Anyways, um, you know, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, any last thoughts from my fellow commentators here? Regina? Uh, I had a lot of fun seeing really unique Pokemon, that Vivillion Caracosta and the Verizion especially. So that was cool. I I had a lot of fun seeing all those. Yeah, I mean, this was <laughs> one great thing about the format, right? There's a lot of uh, cool, viable Pokemon, and we got to see a lot of them showcase just in this top cut. Yeah, we saw lots of really cool teams. I thought we saw a lot of cool matches that revolved on different kinds of field positions changing. We saw that last match was all about Trick Room going mm -hmm. up, going down. We saw matches that were all about terrains changing back and forth yeah. between where attacks were boosted, or maybe Amoongus can spore and then can't spore. We saw Weather Wars. We saw just... Uh, everything. Pivoting of Intimidates and getting Pokemon that could actually do damage in the field. There's a whole variety of ways that field positions just kept changing around. Very cool in this metagame how many options to do that there are. The difference in win cons just makes the games more interesting. Mm -hmm. I, like, there were the teams that were based around Snorlax trying to, you know, as you said, spread around the Intimidates, and we saw things like, oh, I'm going to send out Charizard and nuke things immediately with my Solar Power. Yeah. Char yeah. Charizard and uh, Choice Specs, uh, Tapu Lele, just yeah. taking, <laughs> taking names and... Uh, going down the list. <laughs> I think it's actually interesting to talk about this for a little bit. Uh, you know, we all in the pregame mentioned how Metagross and Tyranitar just had so many great counters yeah. towards Charizard, but it turns out that the Pokemon in the finals for the Mega Evolution slot was actually Camerupt and Charizard <laughs> itself, right? So, you know, Charizard's back on top. For now. For now. For now. Yeah, don't, don't jinx them. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it makes sense. Like, you had the Fire-type Megas like chosen because I want to beat Metagross and I, I was discussing this with a few players um, just yesterday that the, the Metagross Amoongus Tyranitar core mm -hmm. is very difficult to beat but the point at which you start to break it lies in Amoongus. Amoongus couldn't really do too much against things like Charizard, Lele and even against Trick Room setups like Camera. If you look at our original champion his team had three different ways to one hit KO that mm -hmm. Amoongus. He yeah. had the Charizard, he had the top Story Specs Tapu Lele and he had that uh, Marowak and with he the also big flare blitz. had Cartano, which completely ignores Rage Power. Yeah, yeah, so just lots of ways to get rid of that Amoongus, to ignore that Amoongus. Because where teams really start to struggle with that is when Amoongus comes in, does something valuable, maybe put something to sleep, Rage Power or something, takes like 40% damage, and then just regenerates it all back off. You yeah. gain, gain nothing, and it continues to come in and out doing useful things. If you can just, in one big hit, get rid of it, it makes the game a lot simpler yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. Any other closing thoughts? Um, you came so close to your oh, secondary yeah. round <laughs> of intelligent currency. I almost had it. Yeah, so close. So close. I was one <laughs> game win away <laughs> from being the winner of that choice from yesterday's roundtable discussion. <laughs> but hey, I was closer than all y'all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. if that you're, makes I mean, you feel yeah, any Your better. smart money actually beat our smart money in the semifinals. <laughs> so, and he did it in a very amusing way. Uh, in a great way. That, that Mimikyu just... Oh. Staying on the field, yeah. untouched by what Snorlax or Smeargle could it's do, crazy. just entirely ignoring them was so cool. So I know that I was better than both of you, but I still don't know if I'm better at predicting people over Regina, because Regina actually had I uh, too. Jackson <laughs> and Jir Wewat, but they never ended up facing no. off at all. So I'm just going to say it right now. You two are not that good at predicting <laughs> that smart money. <laughs> I mean, I'll take some classes. I mean, I mean my, my loss to the person who won, so... Well, so did his. True. True. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the finals. Yeah. Anyways, I think that is it from us. Thank yeah. you all again for tuning in. Thank you to Second City Gym yeah, Kim and Kim Carey. Carey for hosting this event here in Costa Mesa. And, uh, you know, thank you all again for tuning in to the Nugget Bridge Twitch. The next tournament we'll be at is going to be the Portland Regional Championships coming up later in March. Not too far I away at all. There. Not too I far will away. Be joining you guys. Yeah, just March 23rd and 24th. <laughs> just uh, <laughs> three weekends from uh, Buddy, yesterday. Friends. We uh, we back live in Portland. We're broadcasting another great regional championship. And we'll be excited to see how this format develops. You know, there's always those interesting options to choose from, and I can't wait to see what mega Pokemon or what cool tech Pokemon are going to come out on top. So again, from all of us here at Costa Mesa, thank you for tuning in. 
And, well, we hope you have a great rest of the day. Yay.